Ayo, it's me. I hope everyone can hear me. Oh no, is the music fucky wucky? I don't think the music is on. I got this rare. Can it not be heard? Oh no. I'm gonna have an existential crisis if this thing is not going through. I'm going to fix it. Every fucking time, I always have some kind of issue with the music. <laughs> Remy screeching sounds. All right. Okay, okay. How wow? What's this? I don't have my Taziri VTuber model going? Too bad. <laughs> I haven't slept yet, and for some reason I'm still very hyper. I'm wide awake. So, I I'm gonna stay. I must just stay and be wide awake. My boyfriend left for work, and I'm almost sad and alone. Except I'm not alone. I've got y'all. <coughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't even know where I was- what I was aiming to do with this piece, but whatever. Yeah. Damn. Hmm. My sleep has been so fucky wucky. Been so long since I've done like Remy Blitz related things. I'm very sure some of you have already seen, but um, this Saturday I do actually have a stream, a celebration st uh, stream, um, that uh, that I'm going to be doing um, Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, um, and the celebration is for my was it two years now into the Hell of a Boss fandom. Um, I just saw your comment on Twitter, Fishy, about that. <laughs> uh, sh there's just been so many things that's happened in the past, like, two years of being in this fandom. Both good and bad. <laughs> I've met good people, and I've also met some, uh, not so good people, but, um, we don't talk about that. <laughs> I am actually struggling with Blitz's, uh, uh, his position. I just want to push out art before I go CP for the entire day. I don't, I don't even want to sleep. I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back to normal because I felt like absolute shit yesterday. Physically, I just felt nope. God, I may need to change Blitz's position here. Then you might like this. It's OCX Blitz ship art, though. Not many people are a fan of it unless it's stole it. But here we are! <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's... I don't know. I'm, like, struggling heavily right now.
Go feed him the porrig. Porrig. I think I do a nose boop. I am struggling with his hands, his big meaty claws. <laughs> oh man, I need to pull up my references. Yippee! Everyone, type yippee in the chat. I better see six different people type in the chat yippee, <laughs> since there's six concurrent viewers. <laughs> no, you don't have to. I understand if y'all shy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, it's it's a, it varies when it uh takes me. Fuck, I can't English. It, it it varies when it comes to coming up with art pieces to draw sometimes. So this one I've kind of been struggling with the pose, to be honest. I think I got his hand pose.
have is always bending down because she's smaller. So, this will be his tail, and I'm going to have his tail come up. No. Okay, so funny story. Um, I've been into Hell of a Boss since uh, it first came out. And the reason why is because I saw the Hasbun Hotel pilot first, when that first came out. And how I found out about Hasbun Hotel was because of um, my very first animation I ever saw of Vivzy Pops was either Timber or her, uh, what was it? Or her Dai Young animation of uh, JJ. So I've kind of been a fan of her work for quite a bit. And I mostly started watching and enjoying Hell of a Boss. Like, I officially joined the fandom when I made Remy, which is this imp right here that I'm drawing. Um, but I didn't, like, officially make an OC for the show um, up until 2022. Um, but I was still watching the show, no matter, like, even when it first came out in 2019. I think the pilot is uh, when that aired. However, I, I wasn't too big on the show enough to make an OC for myself at first. Because I didn't- it's weird, okay? I know this sounds weird and I know it's probably cliche, but I, did, I don't usually make OCs unless I see a canon character in the show that I would love to ship with. I know that sounds really silly, but I'm just a huge comfort shipper. So, uh, yeah. Um, I- absolutely made Remy specifically for the purpose to ship with Blitz and I'm I'm not ashamed of it absolutely not ashamed I love him so much he needs love and attention I'm struggling. Nah, you ain't late. Oh my god, why am I struggling with his face expression? Expression either. No! I don't know why I'm struggling to find a good expression.
hands do be the worst to draw. Oh no. Fishy, you're late. Okay, so yes, Remy does- uh, sorry, um, I'm not too big a fan of Luna. I don't hate her. Um, however, she does have an, a, a huge importance in the Remyverse. I don't draw her often, and there's a reason for that. Because what she does to Blitz is heartbreaking in the Remyverse, um, Luna. As the very first day Blitz meets Re uh, yeah, Blitz meets Remy at the company- um, yeah, Luna kind of, like, walks out on him because she's tired of him kind of, like, babying her a lot, even though she's not a baby. She kind of just has her moment and gets fed up. Now, she does end up leaving with my boyfriend's character, Ollie. So those two have a really important role in the Remyverse. They kind of fuck everything up for, for Remy and Blitz when they first start getting together and stuff. Ollie and Luna kind of copy... The pages in the uh, in uh, Stolas's grimoire, and they kind of run off to escape to Earth because Ali has like his own backstory that's kind of um pretty traumatic. I don't want to go into too much detail, but yeah, um, the literally the first day Blitz meets Remy, um, he loses Luna, which is really sad. Because she just doesn't want anything to do with him anymore with all the um unbearable. Parent fathering, I guess. Then, now uh, see, this was before I, uh, me and my boyfriend knew that Luna kind of secretly does care about Blitz, because before the Seeing Stars episode of Hell of a Boss, where, like, she talks to Octavia and says that dads mess up and that it doesn't mean that they aren't trying, clearly that shows that she does, deep down, appreciate what Blitz does for her. I didn't know that. I thought she hated him. So... <laughs> That's kind of still the thing in the Remyverse right now, which is why it's still technically considered an AU. Um, meaning not to be taken as canon. Everything in the uh, Remyverse kind of branches off after the Aussies and uh, Beelzebub episode. So yeah, um, some poor sad shit happens and... Um, since Remy was homeless, Blitz offered her to, like, kind of stay with him, and she comforted him after losing Luna. And they kind of just became friends at first. Why am I struggling with his mouth? Fuck! I kind of feel about the way his head turned out there, but whatever. Why some powers? What now? See, no, that don't look good either. I would be happy to draw Tiki, but I'm not really, like, done drawing this art piece yet. I want to finish this first before drawing anything else.
So, funny story, I don't really like many other characters in Hell of a Boss. Um, like I said, the only reason why I made Remy in the first place and joined the fandom was because I simped for Blitz and I wanted to ship with him. Um, I don't really care too much for any other character. I, I guess Stolas, like, after seeing, um, Stolas and, uh, seeing how he was in the, uh, circus episode... That kind of made me feel for him, but I'm not really a simp, of course, because he's gay, and I don't really want to, like, mess with that. I do ship one of my characters with him, though, but I don't draw them often. It's Remy's brother. I kind of ship her uh, brother with him, because her brother's bi. When did I start animating? Um, 2011. I was like 14 or 15 when I first started animating. But I did it on my old Nintendo DSi on Flipnote Studio. But then they took away the like, you know, my first my first fandom in that was um, Invader Zim, which is another reason why I got so hooked on Hell of a Boss because they had Zim's voice actor Richard Horvitz play Moxie, and I I almost like. My jaw dropped, and I'm like, wait a minute, is that Richard Horvitz when I first saw the pilot? Yeah, I, I couldn't actually believe that they had Richard himself playing in an indie series. Like, I think that's why I, I sort of started, like, getting into Hell of a Boss even more because of the inspiration that it gave me. And not to mention, like, I absolutely love Invader Zim. That was my very first fandom I was ever into when I started drawing and animating when I was 15. So... <laughs> No, I don't know what y'all talking about. Am I the only one who lives in Michigan? Because I hate it here. <laughs> don't come to Michigan. <laughs> um, yeah. God, jeez. Might work on his hand in a minute here. I need to draw Remy's hand for her face. I get confidence to just draw 06 cannon. I'm always too nervous to ship 06 cannon. See, I was a dumb kid and I first started shipping Z my character Dot with Invader Zim when I first started drawing in 2011. And I, d I was so innocent, I didn't even know that there was such thing as ship bullying. People would constantly bully the crap out of me in that fandom. Um, so then I moved on from Invader Zim to, um, My Little Pony. Started shipping one of my characters with Discord, because I simp for Discord. <laughs> There's a pattern here, I don't know, I'm gonna play off and list off every single character I used to sh simp for when it comes to canon characters in shows. Now, the more I moved on to different fandoms, the more bullied I got because of OCX canon. Unfortunately, it's one of those types of things where, because I'm sensitive, I it did affect me, and it still technically kind of does affect me today, but you do grow callous to it after dealing with it for so freaking long. Like, there's so many awful people out there that just want to bring people down. Now, oh god, I gotta draw Remy's face freaking scrunched because boop. Now, um... If you are able to ignore hate and block the people, go for it. Like, 
I have a hard time sometimes. I like to be kind and I don't like to block. It's something that I dealt with with an ex relationship where they would just block me constantly. And when people block me, it kind of affects me because of trauma. So I, I tend to try to talk things out with people, giving them warnings first. Maybe that's on me for being too nice and not wanting to be, um, um, you know, be, yep, nope, block, you know. I, I don't like blocking people if I don't have to. So I'll be like, hey, yes, uh, and I appreciate you guys for um, giving your opinion, but this is a safe space. Um, there's, there should be no shape hate here, and I say, Remy, and uh, my character's not replacing uh, Stolas in, in the show officially. This is fan art, not, you know, just giving them the rundown and telling them that if you can't be nice or, you know, follow my channel rules, then you're gonna be blocked, basically. Because, again, ship hate, y you, it's the internet. You can't avoid it. And I know that's not really an excuse, but unfortunately there's going to be assholes that are going to try to bring people down. Unfortunately. Oh yes. Um, but I will say, I'm gonna put it off right here. Whatever OC X canon ships y'all do, I heavily support because that is like my entire comfort in my life. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and lay down the line and I'm gonna let you guys know a pattern. You'll probably see the pattern if you know these shows I'm about to bring up. So I whenever I'm into a show, I do it I I get into the show, I make a character, and then I ship OCX Canon for each show that I've been into. For Invader Zim, that was my first fandom. I'll go in order. My very first fandom was Invader Zim, and I shipped my Urkin Invader Zim character dot with Zim when I first started getting into the fandom. I simped for him so hard as a kid. I, I had like this uh, um, crazy schoolgirl crush on him. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know what it was. I thought he was adorable. He was just a small little short green alien fella and I loved him. Um, and then when I got kind of bullied out of the Invader Zim fandom, I... Uh, <laughs> I, like I said, I, sh I, si I simped for Discord from My Little Pony, and I ship one of my pony characters with Discord. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, because he's like a thousand years old, but whatever. <laughs> um, what, what else was there? Oh, Steven Universe. Before I found out um, I was I was pansexual, I thought I was bisexual. So I started kind of simping for Peridot. You know, um, you crystal clod! That paradox. Yep, mm-hmm. Um, so I found out that I was pan um, bisexual um, a little bit. I was, I guess, bi-curious. Because I started simping for Peridot. And I made my character Moonstone to ship with Peridot. And I liked her in the beginning because she was a villain. So I was like, oh my god, she's so tall and, and, and sinister and ominous. And then we noticed that she, like, lost her limb enhancers. And I'm like, oh, well now she's not as menacing anymore. I'll still simp, that's okay. So, um, what was next? Ah, uh, yes, um, then I moved on to Star vs. The Forces of Evil. You'll never guess who I simped for there. Um, would it be Toffee? No. No. I fucking cannot stand Toffee. No. So I started simping for Tom Lucitor. <laughs> Which is, um, the main character, Star Butterfly's demon ex-boyfriend. And that kind of got me into the, um, the demon hype for shows like Hell of a Boss now. Because I absolutely loved Tom and how much of a douchebag he was. <laughs> I got problems. I've got fucking problems. I cannot stand Marco. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't stand Marco. Can't stand Starco. But you know what? Um, I don't ship hate. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that absolutely love Starco. The show at the end just kind of got ruined. That's all I'll say. Um, but yeah, um, I'm a huge Tom Lucitor simp. And I ship my Star vs. character Louisie with him. And then for the longest time, now this doesn't happen to me often, but for the longest time before I got into Hell of a Boss, I started shipping one of my OCs with my boyfriend's characters. Um, his, name's, his name is Slythe. He's not really a canon character, but he's one of the first OC, or one of the like first or second OC X OC ships that I've ever kind of like obsessed over. So I started shipping my character Mocha. She was a, a goat demon. 
I think I still have my videos up uh, on my channel with her and Slife, but that was like my hyper focus for like years. I think he was made in like 2018. Yeah, it was 2018 that Slythe was made, and then I started, like, shipping with him. Up until 2022. 2018, 2019, 2020, That's, like, probably, what, four years? I don't even know, but I, I like, hyper-focused on that ship for, like, years. And then I... <sighs> and then I started falling, like, head over heels for, like, Blitz. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, gosh, oh, man, um, I simp for this character so much. And I think the thing that really helped me, too, is that this fandom uh, is huge and bigger than any fandom I have ever been into. I don't think I've ever seen a fandom this freaking huge. So, um, it's actually helped me grow my channel a lot, too, because I wasn't as out there with my content as I am um, now. My most popular video before I joined this fandom was the uh, Ready As I'll Ever Be animatic with um, OCs and um, it's like an AU thing I did with my boyfriend and my, my character. Um, but it's muted right now because of copyright because it's the Ready As I'll Ever Be Disney song. Yay. So it doesn't- it doesn't even, like, do me any good, because the damn thing's muted. <laughs> um... What do you think about Veronica Mayday? Don't like her! Cannot stand Veronica. It's probably because she's, um... Gotcha. I, it's probably because I don't know her backstory full- I mean, we, I guess we know her backstory. I'm not biased or anything, but I don't like how she treats Blitz. <laughs> I know- I know that she has her reasons, but, you know, no need to be a dick 24-7 bringing up what he did, because, you know, we all make mistakes. <laughs> but still, like, I, I understand she has her reasons to be very upset at what he did. Dang. Just marking where her scars are. Y'all wouldn't believe all the hell of a boss OCs I have. I have too many. Too many. Some of, there's several of them that probably have, you haven't even seen on this channel. Because I don't think a lot of my subscribers actually look at my communities tab. I post more in my communities tabs than I do with uploads. And I feel so bad because I just haven't had any animation motive. Sad boy hours. <laughs>
have so many moonlight imposes. I need it. I have a. I have an obsession. I really do. <laughs> like, there's a new moonlight imposes I have that I really want to make a VTuber model for next, and I. I'm so hyped. I love her. Altair. I'm sure you guys have seen Altair. If y'all want to see Altair, if you haven't seen her already, I can pull her up. Just let me know. I'd be happy to like show her off. Then again, I know. I, I know some people, again, have probably already seen what she looks like. Gosh. That does not look right. No. No. There's more than just, like, taking, um, uh, taking layers for VTuber models. Um, there's a lot more to it than just that. You gotta, like, do that, yeah. But then you also have to, like, add them all to, um, to this program called, uh, Live2D Cubism. And what that is, is we have to, like, use deformers to... Oh god, it's a it's a hassle. I don't know. I don't like doing it, honestly. It's a pain in the ass, but um it gets the job done. Oh gosh, how tall is Remy? I got a I got an art piece for you. Hold on. I'll pull up her reference. I got a couple of um height difference uh charts for her that I've made. Um See. <sighs> I'm not actually tired, I swear. <laughs> okay. Oh god, these are brilliant. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I forgot I did that one. Pull up that one. Then we will pull up these. So I got four different things for- oh no, I pulled them up in the wrong thing. No! Hold up. I got- I got this, I swear. Wait a minute. Come on, where- where are they? I pulled them up in the wrong thing. No! Can I find them again? That's my problem. I have so many Remy art pieces, it's not even funny. It's not even butter! Oh my gosh. I don't actually fully know the height of Blitz to, like, compare, so all I have is, like, his official ref sheets to go off of, um, as well as Moxie and Millie's official height, too. So, this is a, 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 a ref chart thing for Remy's height compared to, um, Blitz. So we have her horns here, right? So this is- these are her horns. Yeah. If you match up her horns to, um, the tops of her horns, literally her horns kind of, like, match up. The tips of her horns match up to his, uh, yeah, tips of her horns come up to his skull thing. That's how freaking short she is. Um, this is another reference of Remy. And she- here she is again. Very small. And here is a reference. I just randomly dropped her in to show how small she would be compared to Rem uh to compared to Moxie Millie and <laughs> Luna. So she's small. She is puntable height. You could punt this bitch across a football field and she'd probably fly. So 
Yeah, she very small. I kind of drew her a little too big in the, the sketch I'm doing, but I, I really don't care. He's bending over. That's okay. He's kind of just bending his knees there. There's my excuse because proportions suck. I don't want to deal with it right now. I haven't slept yet. I'm not tired, but still. My energy's been really crappy these past few days. Why am I struggling? You know what? I could probably get away with making him a little bit taller. Yes. Yes! There. I don't care if that looks crappy. We did it! Wait, no. Wait, hold on. I got this. There. Now it's perfect. Okay, I have a lot of Blitz and Remy angst. Have you guys not seen the freaking comic dubs? <laughs> oh man, that's a trip. <laughs> oh man. It's been raining here all day. And yesterday. This sketch is very messy. It's a very messy sketch. Is it thundering right now? I think it's thundering right now. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Sorry for my silence.
art's not the worst part about this. Um, I prefer line art over sketching because I actually struggled with the sketch for like quite a bit before I was happy about it and line arting. his teeth. Oh my gosh, yes. Let me know how you like Clip Studio Paint, uh, Fishy, because I, I love it. I am never going back to Paint Tool Sci ever again. I was- is this funny? I was like you. I refused for the longest time. I had started using Clip Studio- no, sorry. I started using Paint Tool Sci for years. I think back when I was like 15 or 16 or something. I forget how old I was. It was either like 16 or 17. I started using- Paint tool sigh. And I told myself, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to any other program. Paint tool sigh is my kind of program. And then I started seeing a lot of people like switching from sigh to other programs, uh, like Clip Studio or I um, what is it, IBS Paint or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? The results for these programs look amazing. I might test those out. And I finally, the beginning of 2024, I think it was, or was it 2023? I don't remember. I started using Clip Studio Paint, whichever year it was. I, I honestly want to say it was um, this year. Um, no, I think it was last year I officially did it. And they actually, like, it, it's just so much better. Like, I love, absolutely love Clip Studio Paint. I am not going back to Psy. I cannot stand how Psy, Paint Tool Psy looks um, with finished art. It looks a lot better in Clip Studio. And I swear to you, I improved when I switched to Clip Studio. I don't know what happened. I probably also, um, I probably also improved because I switched to tablets as well. I had a, um, a regular non-display drawing tablet for Psy that I used for years, but then I had a regular, like, display tablet. It was a really cheap one, Wacom One display tablet. It was, like, really cheap, and I started using that because it was in my closet, just not being used because I didn't like the feel for the tablet on uh, Paint Tool Sci. And then I started using it, and again, my art just really blossomed when I switched from Sci to, paint, uh, you know, Clip Studio. Male, okay, male moonlight imps look the same, except their horn colors are kind of inverted. Phew, my arm is feeling really weird. I shall take a look at fan art when I am done with the stream. <sighs> Thank you, though it is it. So I can't wait to take a look.
<sighs> so yes, that is a very good question. Do Blitz and Fizz still fix their friendship in the Remiverse AU? Yes, but they do it in a kind of different way. I don't um, I don't have it released yet, and I don't know how to, like, explain it just yet, but there is a different way that they kind of, like, make up. Um, but it ties into every event that kind of happens in the Remy vs. AU. There's so much crazy stuff that happens in the Remy vs. AU. Like, for instance, I think a lot of you have heard this before, but... Remy and Blitz are wanted by Lucifer. Now, this was before Hasbin came out. So, um, we didn't know what Lucifer's personality was. But it is all the same universe. So, you know, my boyfriend and I decided to, like, kind of work it in there. But the reason why they're wanted by Lucifer is because Blitz breaks a whole bunch of fucking laws. Um, co copying the, the grimoire. Um without a Goetian's, you know, permission. Even though it wasn't Blitz's fault, it was Luna that did it when she, like, abandoned everyone just to escape to Earth. Um, and on the other hand, too, um, they're, um, what was it? They were avoiding a widespread extermination. That's what it was. By using a crystal that Stolas kind of gave Blitz illegally. So, um... Yeah, it's it's a lot of fucky, sh wucky shit that should not have been done, and... Whew, yeah. Also, those are not yawns, sir. Those were just me sighing and gasping because I'm not doing too well physically. How dare you come here and accuse me of yawning? <laughs> okay, this one's a yawn. <sighs> okay, there you go. There's your official yawn. <laughs> That's a mood. Yeah. Yes, I do mean Osmodian Crystal. Because Stolas still technically cares about Blitz and the Remyverse AU, um, he is he has moved on. He's accepted that Blitz is with um, Remy and Taziri and Tiki, and he's moved on. But he and the only reason why he was able to move on from Blitz is because Remy kind of introduced him to her brother Kaiser, who is a very picky individual on who he who he um, crushes on. So. Um, with that out of the way, Kaiser was able to, like, help mend Stolas's very damaged heart from dealing with losing, not, you know, dealing with Stella that entire time, and also while, you know, losing Blitz throughout everything that happens in the Remyverse. <laughs> Damn it! Angel can you fucking menace! Making everyone yawn, how could you? <laughs> Look at that rim. Rim, rim, rim. Look at that rim. Rim, 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 rim. Her face. She go ungulate mode. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on, no. Give me... I, I'm gonna make her actually go ungulate mode.
Yes. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, see? This is what this is what he does. He just makes people yawn by God damn it, wait. Oh, god damn it, no! Oh god, I gotta stop saying the word. I don't think they understand or comprehend what Dr. Angelkins is doing. Oh man. Bye, Xeon. You don't have a long face, she just looks like goat. I swear. Frickin' boops her no spot. Damn it, no! Freaking menace. Making people yawn! Actually keeping count of these yawns, I see. So, yes, I indeed am going to watch the solar eclipse. No, yes I am. I am in the path of total, uh, totality. In fact, I'm in the path because I have to literally travel probably like 45 minutes away from where I live right now to a different city just to see its totality. So my boyfriend's kind of like taking me and my roommates all on a trip to go see it because he's looking forward to it. We ain't getting another one in a good while. should go visit Cedar Point. I think it's going to be at Cedar Point in Ohio. I wanted to go to Cedar Point for the for the eclipse, but you know, um that's expensive. We can't really afford that right now. But otherwise, I would love to travel to Cedar Point to go on the roller coasters and stuff just to like see the eclipse in Sandusky, Ohio. That that would have been so cool, but no, nah, we're just going to be going to a restaurant in a city in Michigan. Here. I'm not going to Ohio. I'm not going to Ohio. I gotta go to some, uh... What's the... I think it's called Luna Pier. Um, in Michigan. That's where we're gonna go. It's still gonna be very, um... Very visible that day in, uh, Michigan. I'd be down to meet people, but, um... 
Yeah, no one ever wants to come to Michigan, so... Sucks though, because uh, Michigan's like right above Ohio. Um, Sandusky's like three hours away from me. I did watch Spongebob when I was younger, yes. Um, I just wasn't a big fan. What did I watch when I was a kid? So I watched the Cartoon Network show Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi as a kid. I don't know why that was my favorite thing, but it was. I was never too big on Nickelodeon. I always liked Cartoon Network's, uh, what was it? Um, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy was like my number one thing I always liked to watch. Um, I was never a fan of Dexter's Lab. What else was there? Um, I was never a fan of Codename Kids Next Door. I don't know what all I watched. I know there was a lot of kid shows that- I freaking loved Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I just recently watched an episode of that online that I found. Uh, someone told me- who was it? My friend Zane. My friend Zane told me I do a really good Billy laugh from Billy and Mandy. Daddy, cream, Erwin, Erwin, Mandy. <laughs> oh my god. That's my Billy impression from Grim Adventures. <laughs> Erwin! And they'll destroy us all to make it happen! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I have the autism energy, so I can just do Billy's voice in perfect. Like, at least that one, the giggle is so on point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> that hurt my throat. now. I've been autistic since I was four years old. Well, three, I suppose, but yeah. Not something I'm happy about, but hey. Um, rep we represent up in this hoe. <laughs> I 
I, I think that's... Yeah. Oh my god. Why are you still counting yawns? I haven't even done a yawn! I'm going to punt you across the room, metaphorically. I don't know. No! Ayo, so I do have a Discord server, but it's not for Hell of a Boss. It's for it's a fan server for Elementals of Security. It's my it's my indie show that I um I'm working on. So I have no problem giving out the invite for the indie show. Go ahead and pin this. I'll pin that for people who want to join the Discord server. Probably gonna expect that thing to become chock full of people. It's mostly for my indie show. I apologize if there's people that aren't interested in my indie show and want to see more of my hell of a boss stuff. I don't really have a server right now that I'm active in all the time that has a lot of hell of a boss stuff in it. There's channels on the EOT server that people are more than likely um, okay to uh, post non, you know, there's like non channels for like, you know, other off-topic stuff. For those who are interested in knowing what Elementals of Security is, I have a website for that. Let me type that in. Go take a look, if you'd like. Ah, is that not popping up as an official website? I do not know why that's not, like, showing up as a link. I'll fix that. It's pretty straightforward though, www.elementalsofsecurity.com. Huh. That's odd. Um, it has the about for the show, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, there we go. There's the website. That should work now. Yes, yes, Fishy is a part of our team. I don't, obviously, I don't want to display too, too much, but yes, we have been working really hard. I do encourage um, people to uh, take a read on what the show is about, because there is a bit of a, sh a series synopsis on the website. I'm actually going to be- we're, we're going to be releasing a trailer sometime this year for the show. Like, the official trailer. I cannot wait for everyone to see the trailer for it. There's a lot of vo there's a lot of other voice reveals that haven't been revealed in the tra that are in the trailer too. So, I'm definitely looking forward to showing you guys. And I'll also be hosting a kick- uh, a Kickstarter to get the pro- uh, the project backed. Even if it doesn't get backed, we'll still work on it, but it's more so for like paying my artists and animators and concept artists and voice actors, as well as paying for potential new animators to help out too, because we need a lot of animators right now. Oh gosh, coloring time. No.
I can feel myself dwindling down from exhaustion. <laughs> well, I'm almost done with this RP, so once I'm done with this, I'm definitely gonna have to get going. But I still want to keep going just so I can finish this. It, it is almost done. I just have to color and maybe add in just a simple background and maybe do a little bit of simple shading and I should be good. I have not slept yet. <laughs> Which is why Angelkins is winning this yawn war with me. <laughs> Stinky. Stinky fella. Winning these yawn wars. His- puts his robe thing or- not robe, his- his overcoat thing is not looking decent, but I- I really don't care. Maybe I do. I, maybe I secretly do since I'm finishing it or fixing it. Damn. It really do be like that sometimes. There we go, fixed. <laughs> so yes, she is, but also no. I I say that because she's she's actually a lot more mean than I am. So she's not t I don't like to consider her a self-insert because she's kind of ferocious. She's kind of vicious. And I'm not a vicious person. A person. I'm not a vicious person. I'm just I'm very like yeah, I have a sassy attitude, but I only do that to people who are mean to me first. So it's like, you know, um, get respect, you know, don't don't give me respect, um, you don't get respect, that kind of thing. But otherwise, like, no, um, at first she was kind of a self-insert, but now it- oh god, that is the wrong color. Where is Remy's colors? Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. So yeah, no, at first when I first made her, yes, she was a self-insert, I won't lie. But after a while of development, she kind of became more vicious and mean and very bitey and gremlin-y. And I don't like to associate with myself as being a gremlin. So um, she kind of just became somewhat her own thing, but also kind of like based off of me in some ways, because I wish I was short, hence why she's very short. Very small bean. I think this is done. It, it doesn't look great, but whatever. I don't care. I'm not gonna worry about it too, too much. Just gonna do the shading assist. I love this tool. Oh yeah, Fishy, if you're still watching, um, if you go on to Clip Studio Paint and you go to Edit Shading Assist, this is like my favorite tool, because you can like literally auto shade. I don't like using it um, often, but when I do, it does kind of quickly get the job done. It makes it kind of look like a watercolor shading, depending on how you do it. I don't know. I know some people might consider the auto shade lazy, but I do it just to make the pieces kind of pop out. I like it. And then I also like adding uh, the staticky effect here that's new. The filter. Either that one, or there's also this one, which looks pretty cool. Oh gosh, which one? I like both. -a. Fuck it. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this multiply. Remy looks so freaking weird, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, 
Say freaking goodbye to your, um, let me, let me go over here and show you again. So you go to file, you, you not file, you click on the layer you want to add shading to. So for example, Blitz and Remy, and then you go to edit, shading, assist, except, uh, I already added the weird, um, staticky effect here, so I kind of can't add it again. But yeah, shading assist is like your best friend, at least for me. I know a lot of people, again, see it as kind of cheating but I I don't I don't care now I usually offer for commissions I offer like five dollars for shading assist or I offer like 15 I believe for um, like actual official shading which can be a pain in the ass of course but you just go to edit and then shading assist and this is all you have to do on um, here you just turn these little toggles like this you can actually like adjust it. I mean, obviously the more bright it looks, the more horrendous, but, um, you can move this, like, the light source if you want it on the top, if you want it behind Blitz, or you want it behind Remy here. Um, I'm gonna have it right down there. You can change the base color of the, uh, shading assist. So I'm gonna, you can't really see the screen right now. Um... Yeah, I found it out accidentally when I first had the, um, program. So I changed the sh the lighter color to a purple just now. I noticed that that one kind of comes out, um, a lot better looking, for me at least. Yeah. Um, change that down. You just gotta play with the settings a bit. That's another reason why I love Clip Studio Paint over Paint Tool Sci. I freaking love it. There ain't no way I'm ever going back. And I also love, um... Alright, uh, fishy! Fishy, fishy! Look at this! Look at this beautiful setting they have for Clip Studio. It's a pencil drawing effect. You can make your freaking drawing, or you can literally make your drawing look like a pencil drawing, which looks really cool. I don't- I only like using this for, like, certain things, so I'm not gonna put this on as the finished result, but this is really freaking cool. Um, my favorite thing is this, um, s this noise. It's noise color. And if you zoom in, it looks a little weird. Yeah, I told you! I told you size uh, th the end! Sigh is over. Clip Studio Paint is where it's at. And you can animate on this program. And then this is the color noise filter, which I absolutely adore with my pieces lately. So yeah, that's uh, that's Clip Studio. Yippee! I don't really want to add too many backgrounds. I don't feel like redrawing a background. I'm just gonna probably use one of my pre-made backgrounds I've made. Um, don't mind me just scrolling through my backgrounds I have. Um, now where the hecky heck is my background? Trying to find the backgrounds I'm looking for. Oh gosh. Oh my god, I have a perfect one. So I kind of like remade this background here. You can tell because I have it all in layers. Hold on. Got the water tank there. The desk. So I'll just up. Just kind of... No! There we go. I'm gonna move these up a bit. Oh god, I might need to get rid of the desk. Just 
That looks a little odd. Maybe maybe I shouldn't use this one. Damn. I, I'll just get rid of the desk. Um. I'll just move the desk over and make it smaller. Yeah, that's much better. Birds up. What do you do, bird? desk again. What do you fucking mean your head glitched? How the hell do you do that, you dumb? No, I'm joking. <laughs> That sounds so silly. How the heck? I'm going to go ahead and shade assist the desk. Shading assist kind of fucks up a bit. And now, <laughs> the yawns, they're contagious. Even though I'm saying that and I'm not even yawning yet. God, why? Wait a minute. I don't know why I want to use this background. It's literally the IMP company lobby, but here we are. I'm just gonna add the eyes glow. 
then it should be done. Maybe I shouldn't have done Remy's derpy eyes, but a little late for that. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add blush to her face because she blue, she blue. She that out of the way, I'm probably going to head to bed and end the stream here because I am very eepy and I have not slept yet. I have been up since 3 p.m. yesterday. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate you all for coming and thank you for letting me stream again. Bye, guys!